Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. Let's continue the MS Excel VBA course tutorial series. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain how to connect a SQL Server database using a ADO DB connection from Excel VBA code and display records into a combo box. So let's start the tutorial. And here we got the final output of our application. And notice here we got the employee name, CMP name. We have populated the employee name dynamically from SQL Server database. This is the SQL Server database from the employee table. The employee name, EMP name, MP name, we have binded here using the VBA code and ADVDB connections. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I have created one new workbook. The workbook name is a book one. Now, in order to create a VBA application, first we need to go to the developer menu. Click that one. Under developer menu, there is a visual basic. Click that one. Now, here we got the Microsoft visual basic for applications. Now, we need to add to our project one user form for that go to insert click user form here we got the user form let me expand this little bit and i'm keeping this a toolbox aside now place one combo box from this toolbox drag and drop on our user form let me enlarge this one now my aim is when I run this application, I want to display dynamically the data from SQL Server database, the table, whichever I want to write the query, the table name. I want to display records in this combo box. So for that, I'm using ADODB connection strings. So first we need to go to right click the mouse, view code, the coding part. Now in the coding part, by default it will the click event will get will get the click event just delete this one uh, user form first we require the initialize event now we don't require this click event just delete that one now in this initialize event before writing the code the most important step is we need to add one reference of the adodb so to add the reference go to the tools from the menu bar click that one go to references now in the references we we'll come to the mm, little bit scroll bar notice here the microsoft activex data objects 2.0 library select this checkbox once it's selected we get the tick mark here which means it's selected click ok now we can access adodb classes and connections and i'm declaring three variables game dim here i'm adding connection for adodb as adodb dot connection after that i'm declaring the second object for record set rs as adodb dot record set and third one for to connect my data source sql connection string for that i'm adding sql con object name is as string now the next step after declaring these three variables we require our connection string is equal to to get our connection string we need to switch over to our sql server database this is microsoft sql server management studio i'm connecting my database connect this is a server name connect this one before writing the code let's check the database i'm expanding the databases as well as the Charan database which is a user defined database I'm expanding that one now from this Charan database I'm expanding the tables folder now for this example I'm taking the employee table select top thousand doors so here I browse the employee table we got the results in the bottom preview for this employee table for example I want to display this employee name on my uh, combo box on this combo box so i can go to switch over to the code now write the code here first one um, sqlcon provider 
provider is equals to sql o l e d b o l e d b is a provider close with double quotes ampersand space underscore now the second parameter i'm adding in a new line to add the new line we need to add the ampersand space and underscore now the second thing is a data source data source now the data source is equals to which is our uh, server name our server name is this is the server name of my sql server let's copy this one and i'm pasting here server name again i'm closing the double quotes we need to add the column here semicolon ampersand space underscore now integral uh, initial category inti in initial initial catalog initial catalog is equals to the initial catalog is my database name which is a charan database so let's add that one charan database semicolon let's close with double quote space ampersand to add the new line and the last one is integrated security integrated security is equals to sspi semicolon that's it after adding these four parameters of this connection string now we need to connect this our data source with the connections adio db connection for that set set con is equals to new adodb dot connection after that we need to open the connection string con dot open method in this open method i'm adding the connection string as string see here the open method takes a connection string which is our sql con sql con after that we need to write the query so set here set rs is equals to the query i'm writing for the record set the record set rs is equals to con dot execute method the execute method here i'm adding select start from the table name what is our table name this is a table name employee let's add this employee table here that's it now while rs while rs dot end of file um, is equals to false is false let's close this while loop a while loop while loop now here rs dot hmm, not the rs we need to add the data into our combo box so the combo box id is the combo box one dot add item rs dot now we need the fields fields takes the item index here the index value if you check in our table we have four columns index starts with zero zero is the employee id one is the employee name emp name two is the email and three is the salary now i want to get the emp names here so the index value is one zero is emp id one is emp name so let's add that one one here dot value now after that the last step is now we need to move the next value so r is dot record set dot move next move next that's it that's it we have done the complete coding part let's check the output i'm running this application and here we got the final output of our application and notice here we got the employee name cmp name we have populated the employee name dynamically from sql server database this is the sql server database from the employee table the employee name emp name emp name we have binded here 
using the VBA code and AWDB connections. That's it. In this video tutorial, I have explained how to populate dynamic data from SQL Server database using a VBA code with AWDB connections. Thanks for watching this video tutorial. Please subscribe, share and leave your valuable comment. We'll catch you in my next video tutorial.